Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to delete the AWS Redis Cache cluster just to avoid some unnecessary charges. I will log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to this portal and I would see your Redis cluster here. It's still loading, so it is available. Select it, action, click on delete. You can modify it. You can modify things if you want to. The security group. Here you can save it. You can have the maintenance window. You can enable the automatic backups. You can manage the changes immediately, SNS topics. If you were done with the changes, click on modify. Wait because it's sting, uh, still on modifying status. When it will be available, then you would be able to make the changes. And uh, you want to back up, you want to reboot, you want to apply a service update, you want to stop an update, you want to migrate data from one endpoint to another endpoint after adding the node, you want to stop the data migration. This is how you do it from the uh, cluster console. Now, this video is for deleting, so I will proceed with the deletion as soon as it is done. Uh, re available, it will still be revolving. You have to refresh the page and see the status as available. After this has been changed, select it, click on delete, create final backup no and i want to delete this it will be start to delete your cluster and remember you created a few instances as well so do not forget to delete those instances as well though we used free tier instances but it is good to delete when you're done with your lab and uh, testing and also check for the security groups if you have created some other i'm using i was using the default so it would be nice to change a few rules like i'm going to remove this remove this I'm going to stick it to my IP. So in case I use it again for any other lab, I would not be opening the internet traffic over the internet. And uh, though we open up the traffic for all the ports, uh, like if you would mention 0, 0, 0, slash 0 for your uh, Redis cluster, but it would still not be available for the internet because the endpoint the name that you get is only accessible via AWS. So we covered the deletion part here. I'll see you next time with more uh, interesting videos. And uh, so that till next time, have a good day and uh, keep learning.